In this brief tutorial, we're going to cover the features in the Advanced tab of Analyzer's new job creation dialog. We've already covered the bare bones of what you need to create a new job in Analyzer in the Basics video. So here, we're going to explain the options in the Advanced tab in detail. You won't often have to use these, but they do give you a bit more versatility when it comes to creating your jobs. Just so you're aware, all these options here are grayed out until you have your image or video sequence imported. So you can see in the general tab that I've already brought one in. Uh, now we're going to start at the top here with the analysis definition file field. Your analysis definition is an XML that's shipped with Analyzer that provides the information for what facial groups you wish to use in your job. The default contains the mouth, eyes, and brows groups. You can additionally choose others that are also included, either the jaw and cheeks or just the jaw. Keep in mind that using the jaw and or cheek tracking is an advanced feature in Analyzer that requires considerably more work and cannot be used with any batching processes. If you choose to change your analysis definition, you can simply press the Browse button here and navigate to the file. The XML files will be in your Analyzer installation directory in the Assets folder. There are four here, but only select one of the three that are called Analysis Definition. This one just has the eyes, mouth, and brows. This has all three, but also the jaw. And this has all of those, but also the cheeks. Simply select the one you want to use and click Open. The next section here is the Valid Frame Range feature. In Analyzer, you can choose to not track all of the frames in a job if you so desire. For the vast majority of users, you'll simply leave the All option selected to track every frame in your job. If you like to not track all of them, you have two options. The first is Automatic. In editing, you can add a colored square to one of the corners of your video on the frames that you want to track or not track, as you can see I have here. In this video, some of the frames have this square and some do not. So for example, say that we're using this video for our job and we want to make the frames with the green square to be valid, meaning those are the ones that we'll track. We'll select Automatic as we already have. We'll choose bottom left in the indicator location because that's where the indicator was. For indicator meaning, We'll select Valid, because those are the ones we want to track. And for Indicator Color, we'll select Green, so it matches the square. For simplicity's sake, we recommend using a pure green or red squares. Uh, that's it. Now whenever you create your job, your green squared frames will be valid, and any missing that square will not be tracked. The final option for valid frame ranges is Manual. If you know the ranges that you wish to track beforehand, you can simply enter the frame numbers like 100-200, 300-400, You can have as many ranges as you like, separated by a comma. Moving on, we have the option to burn the frame numbers of your job into the image sequence the analyzer uses if you prefer. This won't affect your source video or image sequence, only the analyzer job. If you like to have the frame number on every single frame of your video and don't already, you can Use this and it'll be in there. The final option section is the Retargeter image sequence. Analyzer generates a low resolution image sequence for use in Retargeter, but sometimes the image sequence can cause a drop in performance on less powerful computers. So we have the option to make it smaller. You can select manual resize and move the sliders. We have one for resolution and one for quality. This option is almost never used, however. In nearly every case, leaving auto resize selected will be sufficient and will be fine for when you're using Retargeter. Once you have all that set up and everything set up in the General tab here, you hit Create and your new job will be generated with all those fancy options. Most users won't touch any of these, but it's good to understand all the options available to you for creating your analyzer jobs.